Modern nuclear submarines are formidable weapon. They lurk quietly under the surface and can remain submerged for months at a time. But how? How do modern nuclear submarines keep more than 100 people alive underwater for up to three months at a time? So let's find out. Well there are three basic problems these modern engineering marvels have to overcome. Food, water and air. All submarines face these issues, but they particularly acute for nuclear subs, which tend to stay submerged for much longer periods. Let's start off with air, which is obviously the most vital resource for the crew members. The air in a submarine is closely monitored and filtered. There are a few different mechanisms used to maintain breathable air in subs. First, seawater is run through the electrolysis process, which splits water to produce hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, the oxygen from this process can then be used to supply the submarine. However, as the sailors inside of the submarine breathe, cook and go about daily life. Carbon dioxide is released along with other compounds, if carbon dioxide were to build up, it would be toxic to human life. In order to capture carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide that build up in submarine, Carbon dioxide scrubbers and carbon monoxide burners are used. Carbon dioxide scrubbers function using a chemical process that causes CO2 to combine with compounds called amines, that can then be stored in non-gaseous forms. Humidity is another concern, with that many people breathing in a close space due to which moisture can easily build up on the walls and equipment. This excess moisture is usually removed using a dehumidifier. Air is also kept free of particulate matter through constant filtration. All of these processes can keep the air inside of submarine breathable, but it doesn't always keep it fresh and it may get smelly for the crew. When the submarine needs new air, it can come up to periscope depth, stick a tube up to the surface and draw in the fresh air that way. So with air covered, what about water? When submarine depart, they have drinking water tanks that are filled but that eventually become depleted. The submarines themselves are surrounded by water, but that sea water is obviously too salty to be used for drinking. Instead, it is used for other purposes such as flushing toilets. Fresh water is important as it is not only used by sailors, but is also needed in the nuclear reactors on board, to produce steam for the turbines and for cooling other equipments. In order to turn sea water into fresh water, it is typically either run through the process of reverse osmosis or it is distilled. The distillation plant on some submarines can produce 10,000 to 40,000 gallons of fresh water per day. Submarines also have special reactors that can break down CO2 to release the oxygen, which then combine with hydrogen from the electrolysis process to produce liquid water. As for food, this is actually main limiting factor for how long a submarine can stay underwater. Submarine have very little space to store bulky food items and generally takes only 90 days of food at a time. There is usually only enough fresh food for two weeks or so, and after that it is canned and frozen food for the rest of the trip. So submarine can stay underwater for months, because they have system like air recirculation, reclamation units, nuclear reactor, and months of food supply on board to keep everything running smoothly. Submarine engineer have really thought of everything.